Hi, my name's Anna. I work as a community park ranger for the community parks team at Auckland Council. We're here at Totra Park today to plant native trees. I'm here to talk you through some of the key things you need to know about planting to help you prepare. There are a few things you need to bring with you when coming out to a planting day. The essential things you need for planting include sturdy, covered footwear. That means no bare feet or open-toed shoes and definitely no high heels. Other good things to bring along include gardening gloves, a rain jacket if wet, a sun hat and sunscreen and comfy clothes that you don't mind getting a little bit dirty. Planting native trees is a great thing to do for the environment and also for your own well-being. Trees help reduce soil erosion, they help create shade and shelter and reduce the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Trees also provide habitat for native birds and other animals. Without trees, our streams and waterways and the creatures within would also suffer. Planting trees is a fun thing to do, but there are a few things to be mindful of before you get started. Firstly, spades are sharp, so please keep well away from your toes and no waving them around in the air. Keep your spades facing down at all times. Be aware of others around you at the planting site. Planting sites can be a busy place. Be aware of potential sharp or hard objects in the soil. This could be glass, metal or rocks. Take care around steep, uneven and slippery slopes, especially around water. Plants are usually laid out for you before you arrive, so plant the trees where they have been laid. In most cases, plants need to be spaced one metre apart. To dig your hole, take your spade and make a square that is twice the size of the root ball of your plant. Don't jump on your spade, you'll need to use your weight to push down and lever backwards and forwards. You may come across the odd rock or hard object, so feel free to move over slightly. Pop your plant in and double check that your plant is level with the surrounding ground or soil. And if using fertiliser tablets, Please pop these into the hole before your plant. Pop your plant in the hole and fill the hole with the removed soil. Push down and firm around the plant so that there are no air pockets. Gently tug on your plant to check it's secure. This will also help to stop pukekos from pulling out your plant. If you're using mulch, now is the time to gently put your mulch around your plant. Mulch is a really good idea in some cases to keep weeds down and also to keep moisture in the ground. Caring for your plants after the planting day is one of the most important things you can do to help increase the survival rate. A gentle release of weeds from around the base of your plant three months after your planting and then at six monthly intervals until the plant is established will help significantly. So this is my first time. Yeah. Getting your hands dirty. Hands dirty, hands down, helping the environment. And while you're helping the environment, it's actually a very good way to socialise and make friends. Yeah. yeah. I think it's good because they provide a lot of oxygen for us. And since we're overpopulating, they'll give us more oxygen. And by doing this, we're doing a really good job by making a million trees and I think it's really good. The feeling of like you're helping Earth and it's fun because you're doing something that you've never done before. Thanks for listening and good luck for your upcoming planting day. If you'd like to get involved in other environmental activities in your local parks or regional parks, please visit the council website www.aucklandcouncil.govt.nz volunteering. Yay!